Tom Casey, defensive coordinator, linebackers coach. This will be my sixth fall at Western Illinois. Coach Casey, you're wrapping up fall camp. Uh, talk about the progression you guys have made. Well, I think it's been one of the toughest fall camps that we've had. Uh, there's been a lot of contact, uh, a lot of full padded practices. Um, and I think we've got some camp legs right now. Uh, I know the guys are looking forward to the end of camp, trying to recover and uh, get ready for school next week. Uh, Personnel-wise, you know, I'm very pleased with our incoming class. I think there's a couple guys in there that are going to come in and play right away. Uh, you know, Montrell Williams uh, has come in as a freshman. Uh, he's probably been the most productive freshman defensive lineman uh, that has come in here since I've been here. And then Delector Durley, who was with us a year ago, uh, has been contributing very well. So I feel very good about those underclassmen guys. Uh, Dwight Harris, Emeka, and uh, uh, Ryan Deming are very stout defensive linemen, played a lot of football, and have fit in well and made a lot of plays. So that, that's encouraging. Uh, Linebacker-wise, you know, Luke Vanagoni uh, has come in here, uh, picked up the scheme, and has contributed and got a lot of reps. So I think he's going to end up playing this fall. JJ's been out with an ankle, so Raffleson's uh, been watching practice, and I uh, look forward to getting him back and healthy and getting going also because I think he can help us also in the, uh, in the linebacker core. Uh, Secondary-wise, you know, Martinez Davis, who transferred in from Air Force, uh, has come in here and, and, and not only learned his position, but has picked up a couple other positions as well. So we've moved him around from corner to safety. Uh, Jonathan Rollins, who's a true freshman, came in here from Florida, uh, has been playing from our strong safety spots. Uh, and he's been very good too. So those two guys have come in and they've added some depth to what I thought was already a deep uh, position group anyway in the secondary. And those guys have fit in. So I think there'll be some underclassmen and some true freshmen that are going to play this fall. If you look at the linebacker core specifically, how have you seen the returning guys um, really help these young guys along? Well, I think the biggest thing is, is the speed and the progression in which this game happens. Uh, you know, everything moves a little bit faster than did in high school. The installation's a little bit faster. So Mike Garoppolo and Kevin Palermo have taken the, you know, the underclassmen and even the incoming guys kind of under their wings and show them the tempo of practice, how this operates, what they need to look at, what their keys are, and really kind of guide them through this. Um, I think that's... Uh, you know, since those freshmen have been able to come in and play right away and contribute often in fall camp, you know, it can be attributed to the upperclassmen taking those young guys under their wings and, and getting them schooled up and ready to go. You lost a couple key players from last year. The returning guys, uh, how have you seen them starting to try to fill those shoes? Well, you know, obviously the, the biggest thing we lost last year was Kyle Glazer, the linebacker. Um, you know, he finished second in the country for the Buck Buchanan Award, uh, defensive player of the year in the conference, um, and is a very good player. Um, we fill in that spot with Kevin Palermo, who has been playing since he was a true freshman, uh, played every linebacker position on this defense, uh, very knowledgeable, has great instincts, and is very sudden. Um, so I feel very comfortable you know, with filling Kyle's spot with him, and uh, that, that should work out very well. Uh, Brandon Crutchmer at the other linebacker spot, you know, uh, Theon Dixon, the transfer from Ball State, has come in and played that position for us. Uh, he did that in the springtime. He's had a, you know, a productive fall camp. Uh, he's been hobbled with an ankle every now and then. So I feel you know, very well, very good about how, how the guys have, have come in and filled the spots of the guys that have vacated. Uh, the defensive line, you know, Mike Steeren, uh, th those guys that I mentioned earlier have come in and filled those spots as well. So, uh, and the secondary is pretty much intact from last year. So. Uh, with the new guys, the incoming guys, and the underclassmen all kind of coming together, I, I feel very good about this defense this year. Practice during fall camp, I know each day you want to try and get better. What are some of the techniques that you've been trying to instill with these guys? Uh, practice in and practice out day in and day out. Sure. Well, it's just the fundamentals of football. You know, it, it's getting off blocks and tackling. I mean, that's all football is uh, in its simplest form. So, you know, that's what we work on. That's what we strive to be the, the best we can be all the time. Um, tackling, the fundamentals, getting off blocks, and our turnover circuit. You know, I think over time, since I've been here, the, you know, the turnovers for the defense that we've gotten for the offense has, has been very good. And we need to continue to do that. And we stress turnover circuit and turnover drills uh, in every day of practice.